Hello there, Truth Seekers. It's great to see you guys all back here again on the channel. This is, of course, your regular dose, guys, of Royal News and Analysis. This one is going to be off the chain, guys. It's always a good one. So what are we looking at today? Oh, wow. Well, let's take a look, shall we, guys? Well, first off, of course, we are diving into the crazy world of the Duke and Duchess of the Monte Shit Show. Yep, you guessed it, Harry and Meghan Markle. And I mean, we're talking about Harry's puppeteer, I mean wife, Meghan Markle, of course, today. Now, let me tell you, this story is wilder than a fox in a hen house. We've got former friends spilling tea, royal family drama, and enough plot twists to make your head spin. So grab your popcorn, settle in. And let's get the show on the road. First things first, can we talk about the absolute train wreck that is Prince Harry's life choices recently? I mean, seriously, what in the name of all that's holy is going on with our ginger prince? It's like he's starring in his own personal soap opera, The Bold and The Brainwashed. Let's rewind a bit. Once upon a time, Harry was the lovable royal rebel, the cheeky chappy, who we certainly all loved and rooted for. He was the people's prince, the soldier, the charity champion, but oh, how the mighty have fallen. Now he's like a puppet on strings, and we all know who's pulling them. Yes, of course, it's Meghan Markle. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm all for love and finding your soulmate and all that jazz, but there's a difference between finding your other half and losing your entire identity. And boy, has Harry lost his way faster than a tourist in London without Google Maps. And let's talk about these attacks on the royal family. I mean, come on, Harry, what happened to what happens in the palace stays in the palace. But no, apparently now it's what happens in the palace gets broadcast on Netflix, spilled to Oprah and published in a tell-all book airing all of your dirty laundry. It's unbelievable, really. And speaking of dirty laundry, let's address the elephant in the room. Or should I say the crown in the room? These scathing attacks on the royal family. I mean, seriously, is this what it's come to? Throwing your own flesh and blood under the bus for what exactly? A fat Netflix check? A few minutes in the spotlight? One of Harry's former pals said, and I quote, I can't believe he'd stoop so low. It's outrageously disloyal. And you know what? I couldn't agree more. It's like Harry's taken a page out of the How to Burn All Your Bridges in Three Easy Steps handbook. Oprah interview? Check. Netflix series? Check. Tell all book? Triple check. But here's the kicker, folks. Another friend of Harry's called him an angry boy. An angry boy we're talking about nearly a 40-year-old man here. Not some teenager throwing a tantrum because daddy won't buy him the latest iPhone. This friend went on to say things haven't turned out how he wanted. I think he misses being over here in Britain desperately and wants to be admired more. Well, newsflash, Harry, you can't have your royal cake and eat it too. You can't trash the very institution that gave you everything and expect to be welcomed back with open arms. It doesn't work like that. And let's not forget the mastermind behind this Meghan Markle. Now, I know some of you out there might be thinking, oh, Ben, you're being too harsh on Meghan, but let's call a spade a spade, guys, shall we? This woman spooked in faster than you can say royal wedding and turned Harry's life upside down. I mean, think about it. Before Meghan, Harry was the fun-loving prince, beloved by the British public. He had his issues, sure, but who doesn't? But now, now he's like a shadow of his former self, and it's like watching a car crash in slow motion, and we can't look away. One of Harry's friends hit the nail on the head when they said Harry and Meghan could have left with dignity and decency and not trashed the institution. The conclusion is they've made money from trashing his family. Bingo! It's like they've turned the royal family into their personal ATM. Need some cash? Just spill some more royal secrets, guys. It's as simple as that. But here's the thing that gets me, folks. Harry used to have it all. He was part of one of the most prestigious families in the world. He had a loving family. Despite their issues, he had friends who would go to bat for him. And now, now he's lost friends in this whole process. He said it himself in that Netflix series of theirs. It's like watching a modern-day Greek tragedy unfold. The hero, seduced by the sirens, call, turns his back on everything he once held dear. And for what a life in the California sunshine. A chance to rub elbows with the Hollywood elite. But let's humanize this for a second, guys, because beneath all the drama, there's a real person here. Oh yes, a person who's clearly struggling and clearly hurting. Harry's not just some character in a soap opera, he's a man who's lost his way. And that's the real tragedy here, guys. You've got to wonder, in those quiet moments when the cameras are off and the ghostwriters have gone, does Harry ever look back and think, what the hell have I done? Does he ever miss the simple days of being the cheeky prince loved by all? Does he ever regret burning so many bridges? 
And what about the relationship with his brother William? These two are as thick as thieves and now they're more like strangers. The Sunday Times reported that William doesn't even want to see Harry at his coronation. Can you imagine your own brother not wanting you at one of the most important events of your life? But here's where it gets interesting guys. While William might be done with Harry's antics, it seems King Charles still has a soft spot for his wayward son. One of Charles' friends said that the king's capacity for forgiveness is undimmed. But let's be real, forgiveness is one thing, trust in another. Harry and Meghan have burnt a lot of bridges. They've spilt a lot of tea in the process. They've not just damaged their relationship with the royal family, they've damaged their reputations. Because here's the thing, the public is not stupid. They can see through PR stunts and narratives, the victim playing. And let me tell you, the tide is now turning. People are starting to see through Harry and Meghan for what they are, two privileged individuals who couldn't handle responsibilities that came with their positions. So what's next for our duo? More tell-all interviews, another Netflix series, a line of I survived the Royal Family merchandise? Who knows, but one thing is for sure, as we wrap up this Royal roller coaster, I want you to think about this. Fame, fortune, titles, they all come at a cost, and sometimes the price is your integrity, your relationships, your sense of self. Harry might have gained the world, but he's lost himself in the process to harry if you're watching and let's face it you probably are i've got a message for you it's not too late to turn the ship around your family despite everything still loves you your father is ready to forgive you but it's up to you and megan if you're pulling the strings maybe it's time to loosen the grip and lift people up as for the rest of us let's enjoy the show and remember these are real people behind their headlines real emotions real consequences it's easy to judge but none of us really knows what goes on behind closed doors what on earth do you think about this royal news and analysis guys this is incredible we want to hear from you so if you could please leave us a comment uh, down below it would be a massive massive honor to read what you have to say and get back to you as soon as possible the heart of the community is what drives this channel and if you want more content like this steaming hot royal news then do not worry at all guys don't worry one bit I'll be back soon with some more ow, scalding, hot, piping hot, epic royal tea. But, of course, before closing in, guys, you know the epic drill. Make sure to subscribe to the channel to help us pump up those big numbers and share the video to spread the word. Give the video a like, smash the like button, and also turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we drop some new royal news and analysis it really helps us out here at the channel so we really appreciate that guys help us spread the word and lastly i just want to say a huge thank you for listening right until the end and for your enormous love and support so well that brings us to the end of the video so until next time guys we will of course see you very very soon for some more in-depth royal news and analysis goodbye for now from me have a great day bye bye